only lights that was on was the stage lights. And so I would get up there and I would, ah, and like literally just start singing that. And I don't know why it was the Little Mermaid, maybe because I used to watch it all the time. Hey everybody, it's Sonya Lene and I'm back with another YouTube video. Today's video is about my first favorite five moments of becoming a singer. Now, all of you know that I just love to sing. And a lot of people ask questions about my journey, but I really sometimes don't know how to answer them because there are so many different moments because I've been doing this pretty much all my life. So I'm gonna give you a few videos because if I try to put it all in one video, it's just not going to work, okay? <laughs> Before I get started, y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss when I post. Now, my first favorite moment of becoming a singer is actually when I realized that I could really sing guys okay so when I realized I could really sing I was seven years old I think I was seven years old I was in a second grade so I think I was seven okay so I've been singing since I was three but I went to church so you know in church when you're a little kid you know, you get up to sing and everybody's going crazy because they like to encourage the young people. So I really didn't think much of it um, at three, four, five, and six because I'm like, okay, you know, they're my, most of them were my family. I grew up in a family church. So most of them were my family. And then the other ones were just church members. And when your family and your church members tell you you can sing, sometimes they might just be encouraging you, okay, because you're a young person and they don't want to discourage you. So I really didn't think much of it growing up. One day I was in my classroom. It was like a free Friday. I was in a second grade. And we were singing and playing games and you know the teacher had the radio on so there was a song on the radio and I was singing it and everybody stopped what they was doing in the classroom and was like girl you can sing and so I was like for real you know like for real for real I, I knew I could sing because I was doing it in church all the time but I didn't know I could sing okay until that particular day so everybody stopped what they were doing and they was like girl you can really sing and so they started asking me to sing this and sing that so i spent the rest of the class time singing people's requests in the second grade and it did something to me it sparked an, an interest really so learning that i could really sing um, after that day, like singing never left my mind. Like I knew that I loved to sing at that point. Um, apparently I was loving it before that, but just didn't really know because I was literally singing every song that came on the radio. And everybody would always say like, this girl sings every song that come on the radio. And so I just thought, I just knew a lot of songs. But after that day, Honey, I started discovering things that I can do with my voice. I started learning, you know, my vocal ability. And people started taking interest in me as a young girl saying, okay, we need to put her in the choir. We need to put her here. We need to put her there. And people started nurturing my gift. I had some great mentors growing up in the church. And so, yeah, that was my first favorite moment of becoming a singer realizing that i could really sing so my second favorite moment of becoming a singer was when i got the first huge reaction to my vocal ability so the the first huge reaction to my vocal ability i was in church of course y'all know i'm a church girl growing up i couldn't do nothing but go to church okay <laughs> anyway i was in church 
and we were at this convention that our jurisdiction was having because I'm a Church of God in Christ girl, okay? Anyway, there's this song that our choir was singing called What God Has For Me, It Is For Me. Now, I do have a cover of that song and I kind of gave it a little twist at the end. So if you want to see it, check out my cover songs playlist. It'll be listed in the description box below. Low. But anyway, there was a song called What God Has For Me, It Is For Me. So I was singing the song, the choir was singing the song, I was leading the song. And for some reason, the sound system went out in the church. But I never stopped singing. The church was really big. It was like a big church. And so I kept singing, what God has for me, it is for me. What God has for me, it is for me. I know without a doubt that he would bring me out. Had no idea that the people in the back of the church and in the balcony could still hear me. They went crazy. And to this day, I'm 38 years old. To this day, every time I see some of those people who were at that service, they always bring that up. And it's so encouraging to me because that was my first huge reaction. Like, I did not know that I had that vocal ability. I did not know that my voice could carry the way it was. So that encouraged me to learn more about my voice, to learn more about my vocal ability. So yes, that was another favorite moment of becoming a singer. All right, guys, my third favorite moment of becoming a singer was when I won my first talent show. Oh my God, it was so much fun. And I did it just for fun. I entered the talent show just for fun. I didn't enter the talent show because I wanted to win. I just wanted to sing. As a matter of fact, that particular talent show, I sang three different times. I sang with two groups and I had a solo spot. I sang by myself. I had friends in school. They would sing. They would like bring, you know, have different groups and say, hey, let's sing together. So I would sing with my friends and then I would sing by myself. I always knew that I had a story to tell and I was going to, you know, do this by myself. I love singing with other people. I love singing with other great singers, but I also love to be able to be free in telling my story and singing by myself. But anyway, I ended up winning the talent show. I don't know if I won the talent show because I was singing with everybody that night or because, you know, I really just did my thing, okay? But nonetheless, I won and it was very encouraging. Like all of these moments really encouraged me to just be a better person and to be a better singer, okay? So winning a talent show was very encouraging. As a young brown girl, you know, doing her thing vocally, you know, I wasn't the most popular kid in school, so be because I could sing, you know, it made people like me a little bit more. And when you're in school, don't lie, you want people to like you, okay? Especially when you're in high school, junior high school, or whatever, you want people to like you, okay? Because kids are kind of mean. You know, if they don't like you, it, you know, then they mess with you or they bully you or whatever. And I've been there before too. That's a whole nother video, okay? My fourth favorite moment of becoming a singer was when I realized this was my career path. I had a dream one night. As a matter of fact, no, it wasn't just one night. I had this dream over and over and over again that I was standing on a stage in a dark room and I was just singing and it was almost like I think I was singing the note from uh, The Little Mermaid. Oh, oh, oh. Like I was singing that and it was like these music notes, these gold music notes were just flowing out of my mouth and they was like flying around the room. Like literally I could not stop having that dream. And I realized that I didn't want to do anything else i would tell people about it i'd be like look 
I keep having this dream that I'm standing in this big auditorium on this stage, but it was a dark auditorium. It was like the lights wasn't even on. The only lights that was on was the stage lights. And so I would get up there and I would ah, like literally just start singing that. And I don't know why it was the Little Mermaid, maybe because I used to watch it all the time. But I would get up there and I would sing that. And these music notes would come out of my mouth and just be flying around the room. So I couldn't, like I said, couldn't think of anything else that I wanted to do. And anytime anybody asked me what I wanted to do when I got older, I wanted to be a singer. And so that's what I do. That's what I love to do. I don't want to do nothing else, okay? <laughs> I mean, there are other things, of course, other talents and other gifts that I have, but numero uno is music, okay? Number one, I love doing it. It does not feel like work to me. It is something that I absolutely enjoy. And the fact that I can do it and still provide for my family is amazing. So yeah, that was a great moment. It was very encouraging. Um, dreams, y'all listen to your dreams. Okay, some are just dreams. And some are really for real visions. And so I believe that that dream was speaking to me personally, saying never give up because this is your lane, okay? So yeah, it was very encouraging to me and one of my favorite moments of becoming a singer. All right, guys, my last and final moment of becoming a singer for this particular video, okay? Because I got so many, okay? So many. I've been doing this a long time. And so I do want to share with you guys everything that, you know, I've walked through to get where I am today, okay? So my last and final one for this video is when I married a musician. Listen, I never looked to marry a musician <laughs> um growing up i've dated guys had nothing to do with music okay i'm gonna be honest with y'all honey i was into the street boys okay <laughs> and they weren't playing no instruments um i did in fact date a uh, musician in high school but like i said he was still a street boy um you know he but he played an instrument but yeah it wasn't really thought of like that like okay we're gonna do great things together now okay <laughs> but when i met kevin guys i don't know it was like i know that this person here is going to be a great life partner and not just because we love each other but because we're interested in the same things we get each other's lifestyle we get each other's dreams and we were able to sit down and talk about what we wanted to do we understand that we have separate goals and then we understand that we have goals together. And that's what I really, really love about being married to a musician. He gets it, okay? I don't really wanna have to explain to anyone how passionate I am about music and how much it means to me to pursue it and go for what I know. I don't really wanna have to do that. And so I thank God because he blessed me with somebody who already knows what I go through as a singer, how hard the grind is. He already knows that, you know, and he helps me guys. Listen, I wouldn't be where I am vocally today if it wasn't for my husband. And he's still teaching me. My husband is a vocal coach. He's a musician. He plays every, every instrument, I'm sorry, that you can possibly think of. He says he plays everything but the harp and I believe it, okay? Because I've seen him play just about everything in the 13 and a half years that we've been married, okay? So, listen. He has taught me so much. 
um, about my own voice. He's helped me to find my own voice because before I met Kevin, I could just sing like anybody. I can sing anybody's song. I can sound just like them. But he helped me to find my sound. He helped me to be okay with my voice and maximize off of that. And so I'm very happy and very excited to be married to somebody who's so supportive. Okay, we support each other. But Kevin is so supportive. He genuinely wants my dreams to come true, guys. So yeah, those are my moments. Those are my five favorite mom moments growing up as becoming a singer. And I'm gonna do a part two to this video okay so listen guys don't forget to like this video give it a good thumbs up okay subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss when i post listen check my community post for any updates and also don't forget don't miss the song association competition every friday at 7 p.m central standard time we have a great time okay all right so don't forget we upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye!